Hello to Wednesday's Daily Prayers. I hope you're all well. It's good to have you with us here on YouTube and welcome to those joining us on the phone. You'll find the words to the prayers in the box below this video screen if you don't have the prayer booklet. If you need any further information, the details for Ian, our minister, are there also. We've been broadcasting daily prayers for three and a half years now and are reviewing whether to continue in the current format. We would therefore like to know how many people watch these broadcasts. If you're watching, we'd be grateful if you could let us know, either by using the comments section, emailing Ian using the email address in the description box, speaking to Ian or myself, or letting us know in whatever way suits you. Please do so, even if you think we already know you're watching or if you only watch occasionally. Thanks. As we normally do, we'll give people a few more seconds to join us and give us time to settle ourselves, quiet in our minds, our hearts, as we prepare to come before God. Let's take a few moments. The peace of Christ be with us all. Let us say together. God's love has flooded our hearts through the Holy Spirit he has given us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call on his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him. Tell of all his wonderful works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. He is the Lord, our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He is mindful of his covenant forever, of the work that he commanded for a thousand generations. Now we turn to the Psalms, and today I'm going to read Psalm 54. This Psalm was when the Ziphites had gone to Saul and said, Is not David hiding among us? Save me, O God, by your name. Vindicate me by your might. Hear my prayer, O God. Listen to the words of my mouth. Strangers are attacking me. Ruthless men seek my life. Men without regard for God. Surely God is my help. The Lord is the one who sustains me. Let evil recoil on those who slander me. In your faithfulness, destroy them. I will sacrifice a free will offering to you. I will praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For he has delivered me from all my troubles, and my eyes have looked in triumph on my foes. Amen. Now let us say the prayer that Jesus taught us to say, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Now we turn to the Gospels. And today I'm reading from John's Gospel, chapter 8, from verse 21. Once more Jesus said to them, I am going away, and you will look for me, and you will die in your sin. Where I go, you cannot come. This made the Jews ask, Will he kill himself? Is that why he says, Where I go, you cannot come? But he continued, You are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. 
I told you that you would die in your sins if you do not believe that I am the one I claim to be. You will indeed die in your sins. Who are you? they asked. Just what I have been claiming all along, Jesus replied. I have much to say in judgment of you, but he who sent me is reliable, and what I have heard from him I tell the world. They did not understand that he was telling them about his father. So Jesus said, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am the one I claim to be, and that I do nothing on my own, but speak just what the Father has taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do what pleases him. Even as he spoke, many put their faith in him. That is the word of God. Amen. Now we turn to God in a time of prayer. We will use the first prayer on the sheet, which is followed by a time of silence, where we can lift before God the prayers, the people and the things that are on our hearts, and the things that God lays on our hearts. Let us pray together. God of peace and protection, we put our trust in you alone. At all times and in every circumstance, we want to follow the way of your Son, who was moved to compassion as he looked upon the world around him. Therefore, we come before you now to ask for your help and your intervention. In your great mercy, Hear our continuing prayers in the midst of the challenges of our day. We pray in silence.
Let us pray together. Help us, your people, O Lord, to act with faith and wisdom. May the peace of Christ that passes all understanding enable us to be peacemakers and bring peace to others. As Jesus served the most needy and most vulnerable, help us to serve those around us with love. When we have the opportunity to help, enable us to do it. When we need to make sacrifices, give us the courage to do so. When we ourselves are threatened, give us the grace to trust in you. I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, for he has been good to me. Amen. God, the wellspring of our life, pour into our hearts the living water of your grace, that, refreshed by you, we may live this day in steadfast reliance on your strength. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessing of God, the giver of every good and perfect gift, and of Christ, who summons us to service, and of the Holy Spirit, who inspires generosity and love, be with us all. Amen. Thanks for being with us again today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and we hope to see you soon. Bye for now.